Hi everyone, Big Paulie back for another video. Oh yes, baby. Right, okay, we are in the back bedroom. It's Poundland bin day, but this week's episode is already uploaded. So what I am here to do, let's spin round the room, I must do another tour of the room soon, is have a look and see what's gonna happen with the Poundland bin Blu-rays that were rejected. So I'm just going to flip the camera around and we're going to have a look at see what is going to be recycled, what's going to be kept, and then I'm going to have a look on CEX. I'll do one of those swanky screen recording shit things. So all you'll have is a little bar going down the centre of the screen with what I'm actually looking at and we'll scan the barcodes on the ones that I'm going to keep have a look see how much money CEX is actually going to give me if it's a good amount of money which it probably won't be then I'm going to take that money and donate it to certain various charities if it ends up being shit money then I'm just going to do what I said I was going to do originally hold a little contest and then take the Blu-rays into various charity shops. So, okay. So let's get on with it and let's see if we can get some money out of this lot. Okay, so first of all, we're gonna go through the films that I'm actually keeping. So we have The Brilliant Impossible, which was one of the early ones I saw. Uh, we have Cold in July, which really enjoyed that. Robot Overlords, um, I'm going to put that to one side for now because that might be one that I might be getting rid of. As I said, a lot of these were shelvers to start with, but I might change my mind at some point. Lockout, definitely keeping that one, I enjoyed that one. Uh, my Week with Mar uh, Marathon, <laughs> My Week with Marilyn, we'll keep that one. The Cell. Uh, yeah, that was actually quite a good film. Apocalyptic vampire, not vampire, zombie shit. The Colony with the lovely Emma Watson. Uh, I'll keep that one for now. Hot Fuzz, well, I'll keep that one. Man Down, despite a lot of people not liking this, I actually did really enjoy it. So yes, I'm definitely keeping that one. St Vincent, which was today's Blu-ray pick. Going to keep that one. Cop Car is a definite keep. Love that movie. Also really enjoyed Space Between Us as well. Ride Along. I'll keep that one for now because I need to see Ride Along 2. The Boy. Uh, yeah, that was a bit of a weird one. Bit of a scary one. But I'm going to keep it for now. Exposed with Keanu Reeves. Which I don't really remember much about it actually. <laughs> I'll keep it for now. If I have to get rid of it, I'll get rid of it. And the last one is Hologram for the King. Okay, so the only one that I'm going to consider getting rid of at the moment is the Robot Overlords. Because I think it's kind of like a one-time watch thing. It's a bit low-budget Transformers, but it was enjoyable. But this scene never happens. You don't get robots walking through London blowing the shit out of London landscape. Okay, so a bit misleading there. What was that, Winnie? Yeah, I know. Okie dokie. Right, so this is the big tub of recycled Blu-rays. Right, let's go through it. Okay, wild card. Yeah, that can go. Silent House. Yeah, I did enjoy it um, for the most part, but it's a one-time thing, I think. This is where I leave you. Some good performances. But, yeah, that's going... Geronimo, oh yeah, this was the hunt for Osama Bin Laden, which has been done so much better with Zero Dark Thirty. Abduction, Taylor Lautner, bye. Police Story, Lockdown, which was all subtitled. Not that I've got anything against subtitled, but um, it's not one that I'd really go back and watch again. Uh, the International with Clive Owen, which was not a bad film. Uh, what do we have down here? Bullet to the Head. 
yeah, I think that's one of Stallone's low points. And then we have the Ides of March with uh, Gosling and Clooney. A bit too political for me. Hall Pass, uh, which wasn't too bad, I suppose, for a bit of a comedy, but uh, it's been done way better, this type of thing. Oh, the case is falling apart. Yeah, well, I think it's been done so much better with things like American Pie and that kind of stuff. What's this one? Bullet. Yeah, you know, you know the bloke I mean. Um, yeah. So let's have a look there at the bottom here. Oh, this is, we're going right back now. So a most violent year with Oscar Isaac. Uh, yeah, this was type of like the, I think kind of like Godfatherish type thing. I'll leave that one. And what have we got? The Machine, uh, Terminator, Terminator-ish, AI-ish, Toby Stevens. Wasn't too bad. And then we have Numi Rapace in Rupture, which was kind of okay. So I think she woke up in some underground chamber and she'd been chained down and they were doing all sorts of medical experiments. But that wasn't too bad. Behind the Candelabra, um, oh God, yeah, good performances, especially good performance by Michael Douglas, but it's not really, oh my God, Rob Lowe, but that's not kind of, that's a bloody thingy pose, that is, that's a uh, Zoolander pose, but uh, it's not something that I probably will repeat again, although it was a good film. Cold Day of Light. With Henry Cavill, Sigourney Weaver and Bruce Willis. Stellar cast. Too bad about the fucking film. What else have we got down here? Oh, God. Based on the true story, the kidnapping of Freddie Heineken. Or whatever his name is. He's Heineken, isn't it? And Anthony Hopkins. Yeah, this is kind of like a bit of a bank heist. Sam Worthington and... Yeah... I mean, some of these, you know why they're in Poundland. But thankfully, since we got the £2 pound Poundland, uh, you know, the £2 Blu-rays now, we're getting much better title than a lot of this stuff. Blood of Redemption with Dolph Lundgren and Vinnie Jones and Robert Davey, Billy Zane. What a cast. What a lot of shit. What else we got? Gambit. Perfect plan, yeah. It's a one-time thing. And um, we got, oh, good old Nicolas Cage. There had to be some Nicolas Cage, didn't there? Nicolas Cage at his best. Bollocks. <laughs> Instantly forgettable. Uh, oh, yeah, save the best to last. Extraction. What the fuck was this? From the producers of Lone Survivor and Two Guns. My God, yeah. This was actually quite bad. What? I don't even know what Bruce Willis was doing in this. Come on, boy. You can still pull some box office stuff. You don't need to resort to this kind of stuff. That actually really was a bad film. Okay, so now we've got an empty bin. So we're going to start all over again. Fantastic. So there's the shit that's going to either CEX or we'll be going to the charity shops. Okay, so I'm now going to start up the CEX app uh, and I'll do some screen recording. So you'll, as I say, you'll see it will just be down the centre of the screen. And um, we'll just scan each one. We'll scan each barcode and see how much I get let's do it right okay so we have all the blu-rays all stacked up with all their barcodes so let's go through them and see what CX will gladly give us right okay so here we go so let's start with a new search hit the old barcode see if we can line it up 
Maybe we need some light. Is it going to scan? There we go. And we will get 10 pence. For this is where I leave you. That's not too bad, actually. I was expecting it to be like a penny. Go back. Scan the next one. The next one is wild card. Okay. 20p. Okay. Next one will be bullet to the head. 10p. So it's following the same structure here. 10p and 20p. Uh, Geronimo. Probably a penny on this one. Oh, fucking hell. A penny. A penny. What the hell? Right, so that one's up there. Let's scan the next one. The next one is the Ides of March. A penny on that one as well. The cold light of day. A penny. Jesus. Behind the candelabra. Give us something for that one. A penny. Okay. Rupture. Something went wrong. Please try again. It's never heard of it. Scan a barcode. A penny. I'm going to fucking spend a penny in a minute. Well, that's bound to get shit all, isn't it? 20p! Blimey! Okay. Surprised that one's got 20p. What else we got? We got Silent House. Okay, so it's getting dark in here, so hopefully you can still scan it. 10p on that one. And then we got Police Story. 30p! Okay. I'm getting excited about a Blu-ray being paid for for 30p. International, okay. Try a different barcode. Oh, doesn't recognise that one. We'll have to do that one manually then. Okie dokie. Come on. Barcode. Okay, next one. Next one is Hall Pass. That's kind of like a chartish one. Well, an old chartish one, but... You know what? A penny. You know why these are getting so little? It's because every fucker had bought them from Poundland and selling them on. So we're not getting anything for them. Bullet. Now this one's got a nice slip, so we must get something for that. 30p. Okay. What's up next? A most violent year. Uh, well, the barcode's on the side for that one. 10p, okay. And we've got, oh God, 50, 50 cents, penny. Penny. What have we got down here? Extraction. Fucking hell. Not going to get anything for that. Penny. They'll sell that for 50p. The machine. 30p? Why does a film like that get 30p? Okay. And uh, what have we got here? A penny for the runner. Abduction. Oh, doesn't like that one either. Right, we'll have to do those two manually. Uh, we've got... Robot Overlords. Penny. Okay. 
Right, okay, let's do these two manually. So we have the international on Blu-ray. It's that one. That's a penny. And we'll try abduction on Blu-ray, which will be that one. And a penny for that one. Blimey. Okie dokie. Okay, so out of that lot, this little lot here... Nine Blu-rays, £1.70. That is the total. Okay. And this lot is all a penny each. Which is pretty crap when you think about it. Oh, what have we got? We've got something like 20 Blu-rays there. 20 pence for that lot. Holy shit. Okay, so, yes, I'm not going to do CEX. Okay, yes, yeah, so that was pretty bad. I was expecting some shit money, but I was expecting at least maybe 30 or 40 p each. Not a penny. A penny. That's disgusting. Okay. Right, okay, so we're not going to do the CEX because we'll just end up with so little money for the charities. Okay, so what I'm going to do, they're all going to go to the charity shops because... They'll price them up at like a pound or two pounds or three pounds or whatever they want to price them. They'll probably will sell because Blu-rays and charity shops do sell. Not that I've seen many Blu-rays and charity shops, not there in my place anyway. Right, okay, so what I would like uh, everybody to do, if you can. Oh, come blimey, don't do that, got bright light in your face. Um, stick down in the comments whatever charity you want. So... Just put in the comments, British Heart Foundation, um, Scope, PDSA, any charity that you can think of or you'd like them to go to. And then in a week or so, I'd pick the, say, three, the three best charities. I'll just do a random pick and see what three charities come out. And then I'll divide them up equally. Simple as that. And then I shall just jog off and... Um, put them into the uh, the charity shops. Yes, so after about a week or so, I'll just pick out the three best charities and then I'll just take the Blu-rays in and uh, just donate them. Fantastic. So hope you enjoyed this little tallying up of what shit I've seen. And uh, I think the bins actually worth more than the Blu-rays that are in them. <laughs> That's terrible. That's terrible. But I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, like it and share it. Give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to put down in the comments which charity you'd like them to go to. And I'll see you on the next video. Goodbye, my friends.